A lot of you guys have probably seen this video. It was a Killjoy Guide and Ascent I posted about a year ago. And I thought it'd be time to finally make an update to this video because a lot of things have changed. People play Killjoy differently. Some of these setups don't work as well as they used to. And I have a lot of new technology I want to show you guys so you can get the most out of playing Killjoy on Ascent. One thing I do want to say is I have 800 hours played on Killjoy and last act I hit Radiant. If you're looking for the little why should I trust this guy aspect of this guide. But uh, let's jump into the setups. I'm going to speed run through the B setups right now. First thing you want to do right here, swarm in this corner. Boom. Next thing you want to do is you want to put this alarm bot deep. Because before this alarm bot activates, you want the enemies in range of the swarms. Then you drop into sight right here. You see this little crack right here? Throw your swarm right on the ground. Next thing, put your turret right here on this little pillar. Bonus of this turret, it watches if anyone peeks stairs on you and tries to go CT. And... It fires at the enemies the second they get in range of your alarm bot and your swarms. So what you do, turret pops, alarm bot goes off, pop, pop. These enemies are absolutely toasted. Cam, there's no way that swarm works. Yeah, it does. It goes right through the ground all the way up to lane. And it's just in range to hit this little lane area. And it does a lot of damage and it'll toast people. I've gotten so many aces with this setup. It's absolutely my favorite setup. Next setup I like to run is this one. This one's pretty basic. And I'm sure you guys have probably used it before. You throw your first, uh, your alarm bot right here. Just so it covers the left side of the doorway. Put your first swarm right here. You put your second swarm up here on this little ledge. What this basically does is it stops the enemies from pushing into the site. It basically means if they come here and they start walking in or trying to walk in the alarm bot will go off you pop these swarms it'll just do a lot of damage to the people running in this one usually doesn't wield you a kill but it's more to delay the enemies from coming in the site than actually getting kills while the previous setup i showed was to get kills this is the setup you want to use if you know the enemy team has a jet and this jet is dashing towards lever yeah. they dash in the site in a smoke and close the door every round and you want to stop them from doing that so alarm bot on top boom you have to put the alarm bot on top if you put it back here they might miss it they might dash on top and miss it so what you want to do first swarm on left side second swarm right here on the right side so you can pair this with the turret anywhere you'd like spot that i would like to do it is like right here in logs because you can see where it covers after the jet smoke runs out this will toast anyone running in so jet dash is in you pop up these swarms they get hit by the alarm bot and i will usually sit ct and i'll literally spam this smoke like this because that'll allow me to tag that jet up even more helping me get that kill on the guy who just dashed there right toss the alarm bot mid the barrier is right here at the edge of these steps so you want to put the alarm bot right on the steps second thing you want to do is you want to come over to b main the barrier is right at the door so you toss your turret right here. what does this do for me i'll explain to you as quickly as i can all right so the alarm bot holds mid for you as you expect the, um, this b main turret is huge now basically you don't have to worry about anyone coming b and when they do come b instead of the turret being up here yeah. and you only know when they peak b main yeah. here you can get early information so if anyone is even on the, this side of the map if they peek into b main they have to deal with this turret they have to fight this turret and if they don't break this turret you know no one's b side and they're all going to be towards a basically you can send all four of your teammates on the a site if this turret is is alive within the first 10 seconds of the round if they don't come over here and break this turret you know they're going to be on the other side of the map now i wouldn't do this setup every round because you know eventually they'll make sure someone's breaking this every round but until they know it's there until they're used to breaking it it is super useful and gets you a lot of information something i do with this setup really quickly is i'll throw like swarms either next yeah. to the doorway or right here so if they do break the turret and they are pressuring this and i'm alone over here and it's just me or there's only one other person here i'll start okay. sending these volleys like right here just to delay the other team from pushing the site to buy time for my teammates to rotate my favorite setup to use on the a site to get the most amount of kills and the most amount of damage is this one right here first thing you want to do is you want to toss your alarm bot give or take in this area just so it covers this Listen whole region bot. first swarm on this green patch specifically right yeah. here remember this if you don't remember this you're not going to get that Listen value all right because if there's a little yeah. hole right here that they can stand you're obviously not going to kill anyone because that's where they're going to try to live all right so put that first swarm right there and you put the second Listen one in the door right here well cam aren't they going to walk in and break that one i've done this setup so many times there's literally like a 1 in 20 chance that someone walks in and shoots this molly. They're so focused on like clearing all the angles that they're not going to break it. So then I put my turret in hell right here um, yeah. along this pipe. Okay. So what this does is the enemies walk in. The alarm bot goes off. The, the turret shoots. Either one happens. Either the alarm bot or the turret shoots. You can activate on that. Then what this does is the person who's hit by the alarm bot is going to try to close the door. Right. And now that person's going to get melted. And then you pop this all the straggling baiter enemies who are you know waiting for their teammates to flash in and dash in and go in now you're 
doing damage to them as they run in or they stop moving in and you could isolate the people on site and the other ones are going to be behind that smoke so what i like to do is i'll play any of these positions right i'll play this one right here right next to my turret and i'll just fight them like this and try to kill the people who are standing in the motley getting shot by the turret and all of it and i've gotten a lot of kills this way but you can also play this off of dice like this you could also play it here you could also play it off gen anywhere you want another fun spot is playing off of it right here so you can just sit here turn shoots and you can fight these people no one expects you to be in this angle you just got to make sure you don't get cleared by some sort of information ability otherwise you're toast cam why don't you play yeah. here playing here is a death sentence they always put an astro star brim smoke you know what any kind of smoke it hangs through the ground and it basically creates a one way on you on this angle so do not play this spot if they're smoking heavy now if you know the other team has a jet dashing in the generator every yeah. single round you can put your uh, alarm bot same swarm and then you could do this right here you throw your other swarm right up here on the generator like this so it'll when the jet dashes towards the generator or like over here it'll kill that person as well but i do prefer the swarm being here because i think it gets more damage and helps you get more kills all right here's some useful attacking lineups to help you execute on the a site now i give credit where credit is due so if i don't make the lineup i try to my best to credit whoever made it and this one's made by odorous okay so in this corner by the green box you pull out your swarm in between your alarm bot and your turret there's a little line you put that little line on the corner of this in the gray piece anywhere on this gray piece works fine and you give that a throw all right and you can see where this bad boy lands it goes right through the top of the tree and lands right here so when your teammates smoke this off a lot of people will sit inside this smoke and they'll flash out when your team runs in and kill you so if the enemy team is trying to run away or run into sight to help their teammates fight that swarm will stop them and i've gotten kills with this swarm as well it's just really cool and it catches people off guard the next swarm same spot in the green box you aim your crosshair on the tip of this little white thing right here and you give this a jump through Lacing swarm like that grenade. where does this land cam look at this bad boy fly this lands heaven and this is so useful you guys don't even understand nine times out of ten someone's going to swing up over here and take picks at your teammates while they're running in and get kills so this swarm is really useful to prevent those people from peeking this angle and taking fights on your teammates come into this corner right here and keep in mind any of these mollies work on multiple characters if you play ko as well these mollies work the same if you need viper or blind ups it works the same even the new character geckos lineups also work with killjoy so kind of all these things can kind of be mixed together if you'd like so you aim your crosshair right here in between this and this right these two spots right here in the middle give that a throw very easy to do lineup on the fly where does it go back generator clears all the back generator and basically forces them to swing out they have to swing out any of these angles and i've caught kills and done a lot of damage with this forces people out of positions and help you get free kills next thing same spot you aim your crosshair at the top of this white thing right here and aim up a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect you can see where this thing lands it goes right over the green box and lands right behind it and it'll clear this now this one isn't as useful because they can do this they can fall back and get into hell without like exposing themselves so that's not one i usually throw but if you want to you can and you can do any combination of these swarms that you'd like you want to do the generator one in the door one you can you want to do the generator one in the heaven one you can these setups are or these lineups are insanely helpful for getting picks and this is why people like hate to play against me in ranked games so first things first back yourself into this corner right here make sure you don't get you know a spam shock darted reconned you aim your crosshair right here it doesn't have to be anywhere you like specific just here you run and you throw and this will bounce off the back wall and it'll land stairs so the your teammates won't be able to get peeked from this cheeky angle while you're executing the site you walk back yourself against this wall and look yeah. at this green thing right here okay you pull out your swarm and you aim it right here right at the edge of this little door and at, at this line Placing throw that grenade. and this will land a market this basically prevents the enemy team from running through this smoke and helping their teammates defend the site so like the rotates are coming in and they try to fight through the mid guy tries to come help b site that molly prevents those people from running through that smoke so you just line up here you throw this one then you run straight across and you look straight onto this okay you aim your cross here about right on the right side of this area right here anywhere in this circle area give or take Placing give that a throw grenade. So now you're executing the B site. You have a swarm that covers your market and a swarm that covers your CT and clears this angle and this angle right here. 
basically what this does is it disallows the enemy team from peeking into this angle right here and fighting you or running through the smoke in the site and fighting with their team while you're executing just like the market one so it's really useful and a really annoying to the enemy team to have to deal with now before i show you the killjoy post plant lineups i do want to say one thing i stream all of my ranked games live on twitch at twitch.tv slash cam game so if you want to watch me use these setups and lineups and see radiant killjoy gameplay i stream over there five to seven days a week if you want to watch some gameplay i'm very active over on twitch so it'd mean a lot to me if you check me out you want post plant lineups for the b site here they are you back yourself into yeah. this corner right here boom aim at the top of this thing right here this little line give that a throw very basic easy to remember lineup works for multiple different characters lands right here on default it'll stop them from defusing the bomb but i do want to make something clear i usually don't use my mollies for a post plant unless it's absolutely necessary i usually use my mollies to help clear sight and help my team take sight rather than for post plant because nine times out of ten it's more important for you to take the site and plant the bomb and be in sight with your team than to just be sitting baiting your whole team playing for lineups it's more important you get into sight and get the bomb down increases your chance of winning than sitting back and then trying to be like this super cool clutch person that won their round with lineups it's not cool guys you know what i'm saying is in the site defusing the bomb and you're playing back holding the flank and you could literally come here and run and throw against the wall and it literally bounce and it'll stop the person from the defusing the bomb now if they're like running yeah. out here still you'll die but if you know they're in sight you can peek do the same thing again Placing you throw a grenade. molly literally just right here out. it'll stop the person yeah. from defusing the bomb there these are if you need to and you'll know they'll land and it'll be super easy for you to do a site post plant lineups yeah. green box right here pull out your swarm you see the left the bottom left hand corner of your swarm you want to put it right here and you just Placing give it a normal throw grenade. And the nice thing I like about this is look where it lands. A lot of people will like have their lineup land like yeah. here or something. And it's kind of obvious and easy to break. Because it's going to be like right in front of their face. If you throw this, they're all going to be like looking here. And you're throwing the lineup behind them. So it's a little bit harder for them to break. Yeah. And it's even tucked right here. So that'll stop them yeah. from diffusing. And it'll catch the damage to those people. And it's super nice. And basically, you just kind of aim a little bit above this right here. This little wire like Placing that. Swamp grenade. And this will land green box for you. Really easy to remember, and it really just does the job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, here's the cam. How do I use my Killjoy alt on attack or defense? I'll go through all the Killjoy alt spots right now. Best spot for A is going to be in this corner right here. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, there's a glitch where you can spam this, and this isn't in my old video. You can literally spam this by shooting a specific spot on this wire, like right here. You can break the yeah. alt by shooting here. And it's super stupid. So when you do your Killjoy alt, make sure you do it as follows. When you alt, you need to make sure your alt isn't in the wall. If the alt kind of like forms into the wall like this, it can easily be shot through stupid surfaces. So what you need to do is make sure your alt doesn't glitch into the wall because this allows it to be wall banged. So what you want to do is you want to take like a little bit of a step back like this. And now it can't be wall banged through that spot because it's not morphed into the wall you know what i'm saying but when you use this all you have to be careful because a lot of sight isn't clear yeah. here 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 yeah. they can just hold you i don't there usually use my kill child on a because a lot of these areas aren't clear and it's a big risk so it's probably better to use it at b right like this it'll still cover everything in the site it just stops your alt from being spammed through the wall like look it's a little bit off the wall and it still does the same job and still covers the whole site it just now can't be spammed unless they have an odin and if you know they have an odin and the sova shooting an odin against this wall make sure you drop your alt right here this odin this spot cannot be spammed by an odin and it makes it a little bit harder now some people have some crazy lineups to break this but if they don't you'll be able to get away with it Besides this yeah. cornerback site where one individual can barely live, just Area make sure you clear. tell your team one could be back site. And to make sure you ping it and yeah. they can clear it as you execute. That way it's not on your conscience if that one person gets three kills. You know what I'm saying? At least they are aware. You told them, right? All right. How to use your killjoy alt to retake the B site. Basic right here. So the best thing you can do is you can either one put your alt down right here and you can see what this covers it forces the enemies all back sight like a bunch of little fish you know a bunch of little sardines and you will be able to you know force them all back sight you can dump your yeah. util back here your nades your yeah. mollies whatever you have to kill those people right 
But what I like to do is I like to ask my team, yo, help me get out so I could ult. Help protect me so I can ult. And you run right here. Yeah. Now, if you ult right here, you if you look here, it'll put your ult up top and this could be broken. You put your ult here, it could be broken. What you have to do is you have to put your ult right here and literally turn the other way like this on your side. So then it doesn't go up on this wall and it can't be spammed. Basically, this all clears all of sight and they have to push. So you click the alt down and then you hold an area. You hold lane and have your teammate hold stairs and they're hosed. Guaranteed free round, basically. And even if there's someone B main, they have to either kill you and fight you or run all the way back. Just be aware of all the areas around you, okay? How to use your kill draw to retake on the alpha bomb site. And this is one of my classic things that I like to do. So, you know, you always put your alt down right here, right? But there's a new glitch where you can spam this kill draw alt by pinging it on the map and shooting it through this stupid wire like this, okay? I don't have someone in the lobby with me to show you it actually working and actually breaking, but you just have to believe me. What you wanna do is when you wanna do this alt is look at the same thing on the minimap. You can literally scoot your alt out a little bit like this and it's not a big deal. Like the area coverage doesn't change. So you just step off to the right a little bit so this alt doesn't like get stuck in the wall and then now it can't get spammed. Okay? Now I do have a few lineups for you guys to use to land your molly and wine to kill the whole enemy team who goes wine. First lineup I have is this one right here. You line yourself up in between these two things, these lines right here, and you aim your crosshair at this leaf right here. Now, this one's a little bit hard because in the moment, it's kind of hard to like, even like when I'm in a rank game, after I click this all down, it's hard for me to find this specific leaf out of all the different leaves. So if you know this lineup, you can throw it, it'll land wine and it'll help you toast everybody. But I do have another spot you can do. The other spot is you can come into this corner right here and you aim your cross here on this cloud, and the second grenade. you click space, you throw it. This one will soar right over the top of the wall, and it'll land in line like this. And it'll clear all of it, just like the other lineup does, and it does really well. And the benefit to this lineup right here is this lineup, you're a lot yeah. more safe. This lineup right here, you're exposed yeah. to this angle on tree, so if they break the door and start pushing you, you're going to get capped. So that's why this one is a little bit safer. You just aim on the tip of this thing, you jump through, and now you're a little bit more safe from dying than you were before. Thank you guys for watching this video. It'd mean the world to me if you guys hit that sub button and hit that like button and even drop a comment if you're looking for a specific lineup or something. I'd be interested to see one and maybe even find one for you. And like I said earlier in the video, it'd mean a lot to me if you guys check me out on Twitch. I stream all of my rank games over on Twitch. So if you're trying to see Radiant Killjoy gameplay and you're trying to learn, if you have any questions for me, come over to my Twitch stream and ask if you want to just watch and learn. It's awesome for that. Thank you guys for watching and have a brilliant day.